Hello, my name is Jay Hortonberry and I'm with Freemasonry Facts. Today I'd like to show you inside a Masonic Heirloom Bible. More specifically, my Masonic Heirloom Bible. This is the Bible that I took my oath on when I became a Master Mason back in November of 1991 at Cheviot Lodge. Freemasonry teaches that the Bible is a book of sacred law. They do not teach that the Bible is the inerrant word of God. They also teach that the Bible is only to be used for the purpose of binding the candidate to the oath or obligation that they take during the rituals. They do this because when the candidate takes their oath on their holy book, then they'll think that the obligation is more binding. Um, as you can see here, it says Holy Bible authorized King James Version, Old and New Testaments, Red Letter Edition. Um, so here's the table of contents. Um, as you can see there, there's a lot of um, Masonic information uh, prior to getting to the Bible. And we'll talk a little bit about that. And then there's a couple other little things I want to show you. Here is um, the section where they fill it out uh, as you get initiated, passed, and raised through the degrees in the Blue Lodge. Here's the officers in the lodge. I realize that anybody could purchase a book and fill it out, but I can assure you that this is my uh, heirloom Bible that was given to me when I was in Freemasonry. Here's a book um, or a page called Freemasonry in the Holy Bible. This this page does nothing to make a solid connection to Freemasonry in the Bible other than making lofty claims that Freemasonry is, in fact, ancient as time itself. Um, and also they make claims down here that uh, Moses was a, a master mason and so was uh, Solomon. On the next, in the next section, you have the internal workings of Freemasonry. And each one of these little paragraphs gives you a little synopsis of what it's like to go through each of the degrees of Freemasonry and then into the York Rite Masonry uh, and so on. And the Knights Templar, which are different degrees of Freemasonry. And then on this page, it talks about the Scottish Rite, this section talks about the Scottish Rite, the ancient accepted Scottish Rite. Said that enough. <laughs> so it starts on the fourth degree because the first three degrees are in your blue lodge. Uh, and then it proceeds through um, 30 uh, to uh, the 33rd degree, actually. As you as you pass through there, each, each paragraph gives you a little synopsis of what it's like to go through each of the degrees. Um, then the next section is a little section about the Eastern Star and their their works and then finally or not finally but this section here is questions pertaining to freemasonry the history and the work of freemasonry and i want to come back to this section because i found something that was kind of interesting in this that i think you guys will get a good a good laugh at and then in this section here is um questions and answers pertaining to uh, biblical information of Freemasonry, and and what this section is is where it references the the scripture references that's used during the rituals, and and kind of gives it a little bit of a context of why they use it and stuff like that. Which whenever they quote scripture, it's ninety percent of the time it's out of context and has and it's always used with Freemasonry, which there is absolutely no factual information that connects Freemasonry to the building of Solomon's temple, which brings us to the section where it talks about the tabernacle of Moses and King Solomon's temple. Um, again, they make lofty claims about being connected to the building of Solomon's temple, and there's simply no information. Finally, we get to the first page of the Bible, and it is, um, for what I've read, it is a word-for-word -word King James Bible. Um, the I've done some comparisons of different verses, and they all seem to be the same as the the King James Bible that I was using outside of this uh, Masonic Bible. So it, they don't really change the Bible around, but they definitely use the um, Scripture out of 
context and and intermingle other religious teachings with um, the Word of God and make Freemasonry seem like it is as ancient as time itself. So back here to this section uh, pertaining to um, questions and answers that do not have anything to do biblically, but but with the ancient history of Freemasonry and stuff like that. Sorry about the video. I'm just holding a phone, shooting this one shoot um, video. So here is the cubit. It, the question is, what is the length? And the answer is the sacred cubit is 36 inches. The profane cubit is 18 inches. So that's how they kind of twist around what's in the Bible and information from the Bible uh, and make their their uh, Masonic teaches, teachings flow the way they want them to. I'm Jay Hortonberry with Freemasonry Facts. Please check out my Facebook page. It's a little more coherent than this video. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please hit me up. Hit the subscribe button. Like this video. Comment away. Check out the rest of my videos. Um, I use my real name and I use all my real information. I have nothing to hide. Uh, I just want to share the truth in Jesus' name. Amen.